What is happening in Hollywood? I'm in Hollywood now. I'm finding out most of the shit I thought was real ain't even real. <laughs> Motherfuckers be gay in Hollywood. You never fucking expected. They be having these big ass mansion parties and the mansion party, the whole mansion is a party and then it's a separate party in the little rooms. I ain't been famous that goddamn long. I'm excited in a motherfucker to be at the mansion party. You be looking in all the goddamn rooms and you fuck around and look in the wrong room and shit. <laughs> Nick, come here, come here. Is that two niggas kissing? Is one of them niggas Professor Ovi? He came out the closet, he came out the closet. Oh my God, a rubber, rubber. Shut the goddamn door. So here's a crazy New York private party story. Uh, I believe we were working with Nelly and uh, Jaquan at the time. So, uh, it had to be at least three o'clock in the morning. And uh, our manager is taking us through these alleys and we go up some steps and, and then we go down some steps and then we take an elevator up, maybe 16 floors up and we get out. And it's just like this dark room in a hallway. So we walk down the hallway. I look to the right and it's this famous female artist and she's there making out with another woman so i'm like oh okay you know I i'm new to this so i wasn't used to all that just girls everywhere and actually we were in the room next to her i think it was a little bit bigger than her room and she wanted our room so she actually tried to to put us out <laughs> so she, she wasn't really nice you know but we didn't leave and she ended up staying in the in the small room, but... Did you ever see anything like that in the music industry that made you say, you know what, I think I'm at the wrong party, I need to leave? Oh, well, yeah, for that, we end up what's in uh, L.A. I got one for you. We, I got actually a whole bunch of them, but I'm going to give you this one. Uh, we was in L.A., and we was uh, getting ready to do the uh, Hollywood movie, uh, sign up for it in the way, you know what I'm saying? It was me. Paul, Ron from Ron's house, you know what I'm saying? It was uh, Big and Rob, from Big and Rob, the Fantasy Factory. Uh, uh, it was uh, Flavor Flame, Three Six Mafia, Ron and Big, and uh, Rob, Ron and uh, Rob and Big. All of us was in Sony getting a deal for the TV show. But we ended up had to make our own trailer. But when we did that, we had to go out, you know, party with people, hang with people. So we went to this mansion party, man, Paul and Juice. And then the mansion party, they was in there wilding the motherfucker, you know, cocaine everywhere, weed everywhere, holes everywhere, motherfucker naked. It was off the chain. So I ended up went in this room where it was majority of niggas was in there. I thought they was getting high, but they was freaking and shit. And Paul them like, oh, yeah, I, I had came out the room and said to ask Paul them, what the fuck is going in there? He said, oh, we forgot the key in country. You got to go take one for the key. I'm like, take one for the fucking team? What are the fuck y'all talking about? They said, oh, yeah, that room you just went in. That's why we were laughing out of here when you was going in there because, you know, them facts, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> them niggas over there, they, they, they on some old shit. You get what I'm saying? So they like, yeah. so for us to get this TV show, me, you, or Paul got to go in there. One of us got to go in there and take one for the team. So we were figuring that, you know, you the wild one. You can, you can go in there and take one for the team. And I was like, oh, shit, y'all niggas full of shit like a motherfucker. But, you know, hey, man, I ain't going to be able to do it. So, you know, one of y'all got to do it. And they kept pressing me to go do it. <laughs> yeah, you know, so that was one of the wildest shit i ever been in. Now, I can tell you another one we was in, uh, I think it was. Uh, uh, so, so you may not understand this. So what I'm saying is, is I already, I know how to get, I know how to beat blood out of rock. Right? So a nigga can't tell me he gonna give me a hundred million dollars to play with my butt. Cause I'm gonna go, one, I'm not a homosexual. Two, I'm never selling my soul. Three, I don't care if it was a hundred billion dollars. That's I'm gonna get you on my, person. Right, I'm gonna get it on my own. Let me get to the point, bro. Right. So I'm gonna get it on my own. The other, the, a lot of these artists don't be real niggas. That shit you see 
on the record or whatever they making, they not really solid. They not thorough. They never sold on drugs. They got mommy and daddy at home. They never, they never even yeah, been yeah. through shit. So when they get proposition and they see a car, they go, they don't know. Oh, don't that. drink after a nigga. They yeah, don't know facts. a nigga going. They, and then what happened, they don't know. Now look, that I'm going to tell, right. right. yeah. tell you a story because I, I ain't really trying to put niggas out there, right? But a nigga in the studio, we, we from the hood. I used to stick niggas up, bro. Baby face. I used to book niggas. So I, I'm always on point, bro. Facts. I'm, all, I'm on point right now, my nigga. Facts. Always on my square. Mm. But a nigga that's a square, he don't know. Yeah. So he don't know. Watch your drink. He don't know. So now he drink behind a nigga. He get, he get drugged. They rape this nigga. They, they, they rape this nigga. Videotape it. Then when he in the meeting, they give him a shitty contract. They play the video of him getting fucked by like three niggas. He ain't never been through no shit like that. So he like, man. What? Fuck it, I'm just gonna sign. And you gonna give me money? So rather rather than get that story put out, he gonna sign that bad contract, which is the 360 deal. He gonna take that advance, which is recuperable anyway. So they gonna give him the money just to take back and own the rights to his shit. I, I love to ask every artist this because different artists have different experiences. Yeah. Have you ever seen any like crazy, spooky, ritual, weird in this game that you was like what just happened just now what's going on man yeah I've seen some crazy <laughs> stuff I'm gonna say no names bro cause I don't wanna you know what I'm saying yeah yeah we like, ain't gotta say no names I'm gonna come in with new energy we ain't gonna name nobody we gonna spare gotcha. y'all bro yeah, he gonna spare y'all. If I find out, I'm telling you. But anyway, go ahead. Yeah. I just find out he 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 can spill the beans yeah, on y'all, yeah, man. Yeah. But for me, I'm gonna just give you a crazy scenario. We we went to a house party mm -hmm. in Hollywood. It was half of us. You know what I'm saying we went to the house party. We saw a lot of famous faces in there. It was partying, mingling. Of course, we like we like the uninvited guests. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying we we the hood walking through the mansion. And um, it just was crazy, man. Like I remember, you know, me and me and Ghost, Ghost would tell you this too. We opened up a couple of doors just trying to see what was going on. And um, I'm gonna tell y'all that too, man. Y'all up and coming rappers, y'all make it to Hollywood. Y'all get invited to these parties and all that. Don't be curious, bro. <laughs> Don't be opening doors. And all don't that open them. Cat Williams told you to open them doors, bro. We opened the door. And we saw it, you know what I'm saying? We saw it. We saw a whole lot of, you know. <laughs> and, it, and it was people that you were familiar with. Yeah. Wow. A whole lot of inappropriate activity man, going on. And, you know, it was like, okay, oh, let's close that door. <laughs> close that back. After you see it, you see what your own eyes like, oh, oh, close that. You walk over here. There's a balcony. We looking down, you know. And it's just a lot of, you know, nothing against gay people. There's a lot of gay shit going on. Mm. Me personally, I love women. You know, what's that Homo sapien? You know, yeah, that's, that's regular shit, right? So it's yeah. like, you know, I, I, I'm pro women. Yeah. Let's put it like that. I said I got gay family members. So I don't no heterosexual, I heterosexual, heterosexual, heterosexual. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you know, like I said, yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, shit or. Downplay yeah, but it's shit. weird when you didn't know if people giving it up like that, and you just like, yo, ain't he? Oh, exactly. wow. You open yeah. the door and you just see a whole type, some type of Roman Caligula shit going on <laughs> in, in 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 broad day. You, know? <laughs> it's, you close the door, bro. You keep it moving unless unless you about that life. And, yeah, you know. So it's your favorite you actors, it. your favorite rappers, and then people see them yeah, later, and they'll see you like, yo, deck what's up, and you like. Let me tell you something. They saw us peek in the door, uh -huh. right? They saw us peek in the door. When we closed the door and left, and now we examining other parts of the party, same dudes come up to us. Hey, yo, man, yo. They're your best friend now. <laughs> because they know you saw. And wow. now they, now they want to check your temperature. They want to see what you know or how you feel about it. You know what I'm saying? And I think in that case, that lets them know if you can come back to the house again. Crazy. I'm saying so. I know I ain't never been invited back. So I, I, I kind of <laughs> yeah. know how they. I, I feel I know how they stand when it comes to me. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, you know, I, I'll skip that table party anyway. What they do with the artists is easy. They send the stylist at them first. 
Yeah, yeah. And if the stylist is like, if the stylist report back and be like, oh, he ready, then they invite you to the party. And that's when they be like, yo, look, when you go in here, it's going to be some... You know what I mean? It's a, it's a nigga at the door. Okay, to, now yeah. look, what Ali <laughs> Vegas is doing to you right now, he's giving you the game of how these niggas be getting turned the fuck out. In this yeah. Like, they try to put this tight-ass shirt on you. That's what they do. And if you wear the shirt... They're like, oh, he ready. He he with it. That's you telling them, like, yeah, I'm ready. And then next thing you know, you're getting invited to the party with... The greeting is the man squeezing your dick. Whoa. <laughs> Did you actually see niggas get... Twisted to the other you side. You go to that, yo. You go through that. You go to that party. Like if you ain't turning around, and you see everybody, you you seeing everybody walk through the joint. I that's, mean the thuggest yeah. niggas. You see them walking. You like, and you in the parking lot, like on your way out. Like yo, son, that shit crazy. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, oh, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you saying. Yeah, I know what you saying. Like yo, nah, that's just some wild shit. Nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? just gonna go check it out. <laughs> What? That's like what I'm trying to tell you is like wow. we coming down the hill like like yo a lot of these niggas don't be hanging out these niggas be girlfriends to these niggas yeah, yeah exactly they be yeah. girlfriends to the bigger niggas like yep. uh, I said I'm I'm just I'm just telling you like nah, I mean what he's saying is actual facts so a lot of times when you see dudes coming to game you be like yo how he got Dug in so fast He got dug in Literally they be Like good. yo How he friends, How he do that Yo why he put him on Yo Niggas be going to them he, party Like come you on get that, You get that bag I don't care who you is I don't care if the bitch did you dirty Yeah You get that bag You, you fucking with something from the hood Yeah that's your day one yo. You know what I'm saying Like because Why you think that shit don't happen Yeah Cause all that other shit is contractual mm. Yeah you sleep in this hotel Sleep in that hotel But when we come out We together Damn That should be contractual man The weirdoism is really really crazy So we, we say that to say this Is this what you really want? Because a lot of y'all come into this shit And y'all think you going Yo I can rap I'm nice It's a lot of politics that's in this shit That's why you gotta make That's why I always tell people You gotta make the choice of what you want You want the fame or you want the change You know what I'm saying? Yeah If you in the industry The devil The devil They like Illuminati, all that shit, they try to get you. Especially when you got a big influence, you around that shit. They be try, they try to get anybody, but you just gotta be smart and have discernment and and have God's favor over you. Cause if you don't got that and you in Cali, you gonna get sucked in. Well, let me tell you, let me tell you what they do is they invite you to these parties, these house parties, and then they they be like, oh, Woot the Woot gonna be there, like your favorite rapper, the big ass person. And Woot the Woot gonna be there. Oh, uh, before you get in, you gotta give us your phones and all this shit. And then, and then they might do some gay shit to somebody and then like try to like and record it and tell them, oh, if, if, you, if you expose us, we gonna post it everywhere. And I know that from word of ear, but I know they do a lot of crazy shit in these in these house parties. Let me tell you an experience I went through personally. So I was with some friends in LA, and it was this big influencer party. Shall I say a name? It was Bella Thorne party. So so I got invited from some other friends. I it was on Halloween. I already don't celebrate Halloween. That's the devil's day. But I happened to be with them and they was going. I was like, fuck it, let's go. So it already was a lot of signs. The, the party say you have to be half naked. I'm like, first of all, I ain't going half naked nowhere. Second of all, um, it was like a lot of signs that was adding up that night. Like the same night on Hollywood Boulevard, the party was on Hollywood Boulevard. Some guy got shot and killed on Hollywood Boulevard. So the whole street was shut down. So that was another sign. So then we get to the party. So we get up there. They tell my, um, Oh yeah, you can't bring your phone in. I'm like, first of all, who ain't bringing their phone in? I'm bringing my motherfucking phone in. I don't give a fuck who you is. It could be Kim Kardashian and I'm bringing my phone. And then you gotta sign some papers. What am I signing some shit for to get into a party? Like what? This is where it really threw me off. They said they had to prick your blood to get in. I said, oh no, I'm good. Everyone else went, I called my Uber and left. 
Like, that's the shit where I think they be trying to get you. And, like, if it's like, like, you gotta think about it. People move to LA for a dream. They chasing money, fame, clout, whatever. So, they gotta think about it. Somebody, a young girl that's trying to get on and just moved out there, she gon' Oh hell yeah, Bella Thorne and then you don't know who else in it like connections. Me, I'm I'm good. Like that shit gonna come naturally. I don't gotta prick my finger, take my blood to get into a party. If it's meant to happen, it's gonna happen. I'm not finna do no something like that.